Well, this is a blast from the past. We're looking at Open TTD Transport Tycoon Deluxe. I have the latest available Steam version, and we're going to be diving in and growing a small town to a large city. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and we're just going to dive in to a brand new game. These are the settings that I'm going to be using. Nothing too complicated. Let's take a look at what we've got. So this is the size of our map. And yeah, we need to have a look around and find a nice small city that's got the got the ability, it's got the likelihood that it's going to grow once we start getting to work. But what I want to do is set up a main line, first of all. So I don't think we need to worry about this being too big. If we go too wide and five in length, and then I'm just going to literally place that up against the side there, accepts coal, supplies nothing. Very good. And then we're going to come all the way down to the other end of the map. And we have down here, we have a little place that's going to provide coal for us. And we're just going to go for this one and pop this alongside. There we go. Because pretty much um, the further you go, the more money you make. Whoa. And by the way, I've got the trees uh, turned into transparent mode. If I do that, we'll be able to see the trees. Excellent. Very good. There we go. Excellent. So what I <laughs> want to do is connect these lines up. Uh, this might take a little bit of time. So let me just very quickly do that. And just before we do that, a word from our sponsor, Instant Gaming. If you like saving money on games, Instant Gaming have fantastic deals on right now. Please use my affiliate link. You can see it on screen and it's in the pinned comment below. This link can be used for Steam, PlayStation or Xbox games too with amazing deals. Maybe you want to pick up Cities Skylines 2 at some excellent prices or you've got a DLC or a content pack that you missed from City Skylines 1. You can check those all out on here as well at great deals. Thank you for your support of my channel. Enjoy the gaming deals and let's get back to the video. And there we go. We're just getting these last few little bits set up. Oh, actually, that one's going into there. There we go. Very good. This one is going into here. Excellent. So they're all done. Very good, very good. And then at each end, we want to make sure our trains can cross over if they need to. So we're going to do that and that. zippity doo -dah all the way down here to the other one. And we're going to do the same here. So we're going to do that and that. Excellent. And then we want to get in our depot. So we're going to have a depot here for that side and then all the way up here. And this can be accessed. Um, I'll probably put this one on this side just so we've got one on each side. There we go. Very good. And to make sure everything is running hunky dory, we're going to get our signals in here. We're going to use these ones. One way path signal. Hold control. And we're going to come up on this side and down on this side. So if I hold control and do that, it will do the entire line all the way down, which saves a heck of a lot of time. And then we'll do the same over here, but going in the other direction. Hold control, go up. So now they're going to go up one side, down the other side, and they can go in and out of either side of the platform, which is brilliant. So now we need to get our trains. So in our train depot, we're going to select new vehicle. We're going to go for engines only. Uh, it's sorted via reliability. So if we click on this top one here, 93%, 84%, 83. We'll go for the Paul Kirby tank buy and refit one of those and then we want to go for coal so we're going to get one two three four five i think we'll do for now and then we want to set this up where to go so we click the arrow here and we're going to say go to here when you're here you want to full load any cargo then you want to go to this one up here and when you're there you want to unload all and then that's the end of the orders excellent We'll close that, and then we're going to start, boink, that one. Now, it's going to go into here. It's going to take a little while for coal to go in here. So we sort of speed things up, and we can see it's starting to fill up. Everybody rejoices at the first train that's come in. Very good. The coal is slowly going in. Now, the more that we move this coal, I believe, the more coal will be added. So we want to get this up, I think, above 50% for a starter. Um, and then anything above, I might be wrong, 80%, it will start to grow and produce more. So if we can keep on top of that, that'll be good. And it's full. There we go. That is now going to head off on the right way. And you can see, because we put these signals in, we could run absolutely tons of trains off this line. And we could also hook in to other production chain things along the way 
and these trains will constantly run. So as long as the next block is free, the train will keep going in either direction. We might add some separate lines because of breakdowns. We, have, we do have breakdowns on, but I think that's going to be fine. So let's just wait until this train gets to the other end and see how much money we make. We're going to be looking at this figure over here. There we go. It broke down, then it's turned up, and that's going to unload. And we've made 25,000 on that trip. So now, by the time it gets all the way back down to the other end, we can see there's tons of coal waiting. So very quickly, we're going to be able to double up this train and start raking in the money. Now, I'm going to be interested to see, once it gets back down here again, how much of that it can take. I mean, we could actually just work that out if we look into here. So these hold 30 each. So that is 150 tons of coal. I hope my maths is right. So I think it's not going to be very long before we are going to need double the amount of trains. And it's arrived and it's filling up. There we go. So we've got 59 left. So I wouldn't say we need to take it all straight away 25 percent transported we transported loads of it so i don't know why you're complaining but that's going to keep making us money very good very good let's leave that going and we do actually have some loan that's i think is just automatically taken out and given to you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just try and repay that back so our loan interest goes down quite a lot and let's have a look around and see if we can find a nice town that we can try and grow Ooh, testing stoke common I'm liking the name and I'm liking the size of this one. It's not growing at the moment. I'm going to leave that one there and then maybe we'll take a look at that. But let's look around for, I want a farm and a factory that are a long way away as well. We've got this factory here, which is towards the south end of our line. And then all the way at the top here, we've got this farm and this farm, the way we can get some goods in. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is connect this one to our line, which will work very well. Very good, very good. So now we can start taking the grain and the livestock from here. And hopefully we've got enough that we can do that. So let's jump in here. We're going to grab a new vehicle. Thank you very much. We'll go back to our engines. And it's probably going to be the same as before. Yeah, we'll get one of these. And then we'll go grain. Excellent. We'll get one, two, three of those. That'll be good. And livestock, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Grain and livestock. We'll get three of these as well. And like before, we'll say go to here. And we're going to do full load any cargo. Then we're going to say go to... Oh, I haven't set this one up, have I? Darn it. Shouldn't have bought the train before I got this set up. Okay, let us have a look at this. So this is our factory. So let me just... Yeah, I know it's not got enough because I'm a Muppet. Let me just set this one up down here. There we go. I manually put that one in. If you just left click, it will switch it around. I think that will be okay. Right, so back to here. So the second one is to go to here. That one is going to unload all. And there we go. That should be it. We'll close that. We'll take a look. There we go. Yeah, we're losing money still. We know, we know, but we're going to be making more money. Don't you worry about that. So that's going to wait there for a while. Everybody rejoices, but there's no goods and there's no there's no grain, no livestock just yet. It is ever so slightly filling up. So we'll let that one go. We'll come back and check on that one momentarily. I think we need to pause for a sec and set up our company. So first of all, the color scheme, I'm afraid blue is really not going to cut it. We need red. There we go. Uh, company name. Oh, let's have a look. How about we go Biffa Tech Inc. We'll go with that. Uh, for manager name, we could go for T E A. Oh, better than that. Mr. Sipper. T E A Sipper. Yep, that is fine. And then we'll <laughs> just about fit the name on there. And then for the face selection, we'll go male. I'm going to pick a random. Uh, number between oh let's say nine let's see what we get one two three four five six seven eight nine that will do nicely okay thank you very much there we go biffa tech inc we'll set up our headquarters when we get there company value one pound very good and we're spending a lot of money on infrastructure you are <laughs> filling up very slowly let's just speed that up there we go excellent and then when you get to the other end, we'll see how much money you make us. Okay, unloading made 15,000. That is fantastic. So hopefully, with the way this is all going, we're going to be making plenty of moolah. It did break down on the way, so I'm hoping now... There we go. We've now got two trains running on this line. 
making us lots of money. How much did that one make last year? Let's just have a look. 27,000. Yeah, I think we are going to be fine. Excellent. So now we know that this is making for us uh, goods, which are just going to be sat there and we need to transport. And I may be possibly changing where we're going to send these to because this is too far away. Yeah, we're going to bring those down into Treading Brie instead. And I'm wondering whether we could just use some trucks just for something a little bit different. Let's try that. Right, so let's open this up. We need to basically just connect our roads up to over here, but we need a depot. So I believe that's a lorry depot. That is a bus station. So if we plot this down here, and we could just sort of tuck that in there, we could get these goods. Actually, I think we need to connect it to over there. So we'll do that. Let us take this one uh, coverage except grain livestock still supplies goods that is what we want i'm hoping i've got that set up right for the road to connect yes we have excellent so we are going to bring this road excellent there we go that's going to connect that together and then we're going to have another another lorry loading bay where they're just going to unload all of these goods and i want that right in the middle of town i mean that is pretty much covering everything except mail are they not going to accept goods as well i really hope they do once we've got this set up we will find out and then over here we also need of course a road depot and i'm going to do this one and we're going to tuck that in there excellent so let's get some good trucks we'll go into new vehicles all cargo types will go goods and we basically have one choice how much are these costing us? 8,000. I'm going to buy two, three of those. Darn it, I should have bought one and cloned it. That would have been a lot easier to set up. But anyway, let me do this. There we go. That's the last one done. And then we're going to go, 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 and go. And they'll start running out and hopefully picking up some of these goods that we've got waiting in here. Everybody's really happy about that. Oh, there we go. They're filling up. They're off fantastic i'm hoping that it's not too far and these are still going to be making a decent amount of money for us yeah 14 crates of goods that isn't a huge amount when we look at there's 71 crates of goods being stored here so what i might do is as one of these comes back afterwards is clone up a few more and we'll see how that goes how much money they're making they're making some money so that's good now what's going to happen is if we start providing items to here look now it's going to grow whereas before it wasn't growing so they're going to come in they're going to make a little bit of money and we know this will also accept mail so that is something else that we could bring in from another nearby town now what we can also do to help with this town growth is we can actually put some roads and things in every time they want to grow they will start from the center and work out and see where is there a good spot to place a building so we want to make sure that there's plenty of buildings and not so many dead ends either so at the minute that's a t-junction we'll leave it like that and before it gets a dead end that there's plenty of options where they can build that is the most helpful way of doing things let's get that one into there oh i've still got the wrong one connected selected there we go oh I've accidentally added the dead end no biffer what are you doing let's do that there we go i'm also going to delete that and actually make it oh they're refusing I, my uh, reputation isn't big enough to allow me to do that so that's fine that's okay we can also set up a nice little bus route around here as well, which is this one here. And let's have a look. I want the one that goes over the road. So we're going to have one all the way down here. Now, these are overlapping, which is fine. I don't mind that so much. Um, unfortunately, the depot is all the way up there. So I'm going to do another depot. Let's just pop that in there. There we go. Excellent. And then we'll get some buses just to do a nice route around here. And we hopefully we'll get that um, little thing down a little bit there. The growth. Just the one bus. Uh, how much are they costing? 9000 to Let's just go with two for now. Again, I should have done one and cloned it. I will learn eventually not to keep making the same mistake. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes. There we go. That one's done. Number four, you may go. And I'm going to try and send this one around the other way. I don't know how that will work AI-wise in the game, but we'll do our best. There we go. Number five you can head out as well there we go so that is heading out the other route and then eventually we'll start seeing this make money and start picking some people up 
That is the idea. Yay, everybody's happy. Oh, starting to make money, starting to make money. This is now down to 77 days, which is fantastic. So we have got in here five different drop-off points for cargo for passengers and that is probably i think the main way that we can get this to grow so treading brie we'll just keep you up there so we can come and check on you from time to time and see what else we can hook up what other money we can make what i'd like to do is help our little farm at the northern end this one farm in here isn't producing many goods and the train is waiting for a long time up here to be filled up so i'd like to connect it up to this farm here just to bring those items in um, I don't want to overload it with too much. So what I'm going to do is add another track on here just to keep things simple. There we go. That will start just picking up some extra grain and livestock once that fills up and helping this have a little bit more. So this main train can fill up a little bit quicker. There we go. That's working nicely. Had to make sure that on the rules here that I set it to unload here. Otherwise, it picks up all the goods that are in there and takes them back again. So now after a couple of trips backwards and forwards but that's going to be yeah transferring a little bit and hopefully we want to see it keeping up with this amount over here which i think it's doing pretty well and it's also going to add more here to be picked up so the other train isn't waiting which is much more my concern but as long as that one's making money i'm happy with that so now i want to check our coal mine station down here whether this is taking too long to fill up as well so let's just have a look with what's there. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, 20. Let's just see how that goes. Yeah, I and mean, it's waiting a long time here too. So could we add in another coal mine to this? There's one over there to this southern line to really help out with that. I think that's going to be the nearest one. So maybe let's hook into this and do the same thing now with this new one i'm going to make it a little bit bigger a little bit wider rather than the single one because that's now going to accept passengers mail and supply coal um so that will just sort of maybe give us a little bit of future proofing um and then over here i'm just wondering whether we could hook in to come at the back but to be honest it's so much easier just to do it this way and line that up like so and that just all becomes part of the station there we go full load unload and leave empty yep excellent so if we get that one going it's probably going to wait a little bit over here but hopefully not for too long there we go people rejoice and it's filled up it's going and i missed how much money it made <laughs> i think that was four thousand odd let's wait for it to come back again yep making some money excellent and now we're going to have more coal waiting here so very soon then if this other train that comes down this line doesn't take all of this coal we might be able to add in a duplicate of that train and carry some more of this coal so let's wait yeah it's really building up now isn't it yeah i mean it's just filled up and there is almost enough now to have another train so next time that comes around i'm going to dupe it and we're going to have two although actually now i'm saying that what sort of train is this one this is and let's go to information the kirby pool steam tank i think we can actually do better now with some of the other trains that we've got available so that's this one here 59 percent reliability oh my goodness that one needs to be uh, changed at some point we're gonna go for another one of these yeah it's all set up but i accidentally bought it in completely the wrong place um so what we're gonna do is we are just going to hook up that there just to get that train up on here we're gonna say off you go waiting for free path oh yeah we've got the other train oh no where is the other train oh it's up the other end good okay you had enough sense to wait and then once you get up here and go we'll just delete that so we don't get any crossover and any problems there we go you're picking up the coal you're filling up oh yeah why did you not go up there <laughs> pause turn around so what i need to do now is delete that connect that up to there get you to go up the rail to the right way thank you very much then we'll delete that and that and we'll just get this hooked up like it was before and everybody should be happy now and you're heading off you're full up yep very good so that's going to help this one is running out of coal just enough for when the next one comes and then our other train is coming along here Are you okay yep 
very good excellent and it's just come in at the other end how much we're going to make Thirty thousand. very good very good i do think we need to upgrade some of these other trains they are just breaking down all the time because it's so far to go which one have you got on here you've also got the kirby pool tank which is really not good so i think what we're going to do is get you to go into i want that one open there get you to go into the nearest depot and we'll upgrade it sorted by reliability you're also going to be an sh8p with the 93 we're going to buy that excellent there we go i'm hoping that you've kept the same yeah very good so you can just go i've had to put another line through here so hopefully you can now turn around and go down the correct one you're going up the top darn it oh is it because you're empty you're not empty are you? you are empty all oh, right you do whatever you like you be you so just looking at all the trains we've got available there's a couple of others here that are also on the kirby pool tank which really isn't very good just these two actually so i think you've could have just gone to a depot there but never mind i'm going to send these two to the depot i'm going to upgrade those as well and then hopefully they will stop breaking down as much and make us a little more money how's treading Bree doing oh 1175 citizens what did we have when we started i went back back and had a look and it was 350 so it's really growing well what does it say down here every 77 days that's good oh you've stopped okay let me upgrade you there we go so that is everybody upgraded so i'm not going to mess with those now for a while i'm just going to leave those going and hopefully yeah these are all making money as well with the goods and everything we're going to leave that running for a bit and hopefully make us a decent chunk of change yeah all the goods here and things are being taken which is good thank you very much i never look at that i just look at this figure down here yep there's stuff there waiting to go which is good how's it going right up the other end yep that's accepting the coal which we want this has got oh man this has got absolutely tons of livestock and grain so you know what that means we need to double up a train that's on this line as well okay there we go it's in the depot so i'm gonna oh can i afford to clone that train yes i can that just spent a whole load of money and then we're also going to add new grain hoppers uh no that's fine we're still on steam don't worry about us we are going to also add two new grain hoppers buy and buy and two new livestock vans buy and buy and they are going to go on here on here on here and on here there we go excellent and then they should off you go and off you go should all be set up to go excellent and we are breaking in the money which is brilliant so i'm going to repay back a whole load of loans there we go we've only got 110,000 left i might have taken some more out when you weren't looking and the company value has gone up from one pound to nearly half a million pounds that is absolutely fantastic i think we should build our hq here in treadingbury so they get a little bit more happier with me if we look at the local authority outstanding they really do love us we could do a bit of a campaign here a medium local advertising campaign attract more passengers and cargo to your transport services temporary boost do it it's done they are going to be so happy with us and build our hq it's a nice little house uh where could we put this you know i'd be quite happy to be right next to the football stadium so i'm going to go there oh it's like a little farm that is really cool and then i'm going to build maybe some more roads around here like so over 1000 population that is absolutely brilliant i'm really pleased oh the first of our larger trains is about to fill up over here so hopefully now it's going to take a big chunk of what's in there and i think that's the second one about to fill up as well yeah there we go so i'm wondering whether you know we could even add a third onto here which would just be fantastic and keep on top of this i think i'm going to do that you know once once this one gets all the way down here, unloads, makes us all the money. There we go. It's in. Can we clone it? We can. We will send you off as well. Very good. Very good. There goes one. There goes the other. Oh, hopefully we'll make even more money. So these trains on their own are making over 32,000 per visit. Let's just wait for that one. 33,000. So once we've gone past a year, here comes the other one. I think. No there it is 26,000 
that is just absolutely fantastic so forty-three thousand last year it's definitely going to be more this year i don't know where this one is it looks like it's empty and it, where is it what are you doing one train too many now this one doesn't have enough goods oh we overdid it we overdid it darn it which isn't going to be making us a lot of money so maybe now we could bring in even more good maybe it's time to expand this line so we're making decent money we're up to nearly four hundred thousand, which is great i think what we're going to do is just adjust this a little bit here there we go so we'll make that a double platform like we have before and then we're going to use these to go oh no this one here don't want to blow anything up we're going to go up that way and down this way and then of course we've got to pop back in our train depot right there excellent so that should now take the other line when it comes out over there yep brilliant okay so we can double up our trains on there and then what i want to do is is get this filling up a bit quicker because if we just speed this up yeah it goes in there and it really needs more items so we need another farm and there's one right here there's one right there as well so we could really add these farms into this setup and i think it'll work really well there we go i've got both of those set up and i'm hoping that that will work out nicely and they're not going to get in each other's way the way we've got this set up they can go into either platform so it may be that this train we need to increase in size at some point in the future and this one's also got the added ability to take coal in and out so we may make use of that at some point in the future right train eight is heading out looks like we've got all this set up correctly very good very good let's just take a look at what we've got in here and that is full up so now we've got a lot more now they're waiting and this one is going out excellent and now we've got a lot more in there now they're going to go back this one's going to come in and immediately fill up without having to wait which is exactly what we want and it's got some items left so we're going to keep an eye on this train going backwards and forwards train number three because i believe we may have to just increase the capacity on that one let me keep an eye on this for a moment yep definitely it's really filling up nicely over here we can see and these trains are waiting here before they come in which is good i could probably put another signal down here we won't have to wait so far away but that's okay wait for that one to load and i want you to go into this train depot here okay don't go into that train depot there go into <laughs> that one on the way back okay there we go so we're going to upgrade um a couple more of those for the livestock and a couple more of those for the grain and we're going to put them in order because i just want to i'm hoping that's not too large to fit in to the thing there we go excellent and let's just see okay they're going to go the other way first and then when they come back there we go i want to see how much they're going to take a lot more and they could fill up everything which is good it may be that we can now add a second train onto this line because over here this is still quite empty so what i want to see is this one going down which is this one here and then Sinis East, <laughs> this one here having at least a little bit of a buffer. I mean, they're not waiting too long down here at Sinis East. As long as this train comes, they're pretty much taking exactly what there is. And now there's a bit of a buffer. Excellent, which is probably because. Thank you very much. Getting very old. Yeah, I need to change those. I think that's fine. I'm not going to worry too much about totally balancing all of that out. We are making so much money. I'm going to pay back. I could probably pay back all of my loan. Yep. And it's no problem at all. Gone. We are now loan free and we're getting up towards 700,000, which is great. How is Treading Bree going along? 1,211 population. Is this now accepting mail or anything like that? Let's take a look. We can click on this one here because it also has buses and trucks coming into here. And yes, it's now bringing in mail. I think it was before, actually. But how about we bring some mail over from Chonbrook? Or could we put a mail train? Does mail give us more money the further it goes i'm not entirely sure on that or while i'm looking into that in 1965 the last four years of our money we made over half a million pounds that is just fan flipping tastic well i'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to assume that it needs to go a fair distance as well and we're going to add a train station into here we don't have one here yet let's go for this one we're going to go for two i just 
tend to use the same sort of length, but I feel like I want to go four in here, as this place is going to be made pretty big. It's going to be a terminus, so we're going to sort of back it up over here and hopefully not crush anything. Building must be demolished first. Oh, there's the train, uh, the football ground right there. If I go there. Yes, excellent. There we go. So we're going to just have this one come in and out of there. Yeah, I think if we just connect up here and come over to Treyberg Market and just do a similar thing here, we should be okay. Um, and if we do this right, we can get passengers, mail, coal, grain, and livestock out of this place. Although that's overhanging the, <laughs> the water. So let us get a mail van for down here. And also we could take passengers, of course, backwards and forwards. So in our train depot, we shall grab, thank you very much, a new engine. Again, I'm going to go for the reliability, although we've got this one. Our first, it was not our first diesel, but this one can take passengers. It says refittable, all cargo types. Mm, and how much does that cost? 32,000. Let's just take a look at that and see how this works. So that is just going to take passengers. Okay, that's fine. So then can we add mail onto that? Uh, let's buy a couple of those. Oh, thank you very much. I was trying to click a button. We can. Okay, so I'll pop that in there. Oh, it has to go one at either end because it's an engine. I get it. I get it. So then what I'm also going to do is add more passengers on here as well. And then we'll see how that one goes. I miss what that message said. But let me set up the route for these and hopefully I've got it right. And here it comes. And I'm assuming it's going to pick up pretty much all of those because we've got plenty of space. Oh, actually, let's just wait for it to fill up. Yeah, it's taken pretty much everything. So we'll give that some time. And by the time it does both of those... It'll be interesting to see how much money we're going to make now. Let's jump back to the other one at the other end. Wait for it to turn up. And here it is. Let's see what money we're going to make. 9,000. Not too shabby. And then I'm assuming once it gets down to the other end, it'll be a similar amount. And here we go. It's just turned up. Yep, my other road vehicles are now getting very old. How much is this going to make for us? 4,000. Excellent. Well, we'll just keep that ticking away. And it's broken down. And that's also going to help Treadingbury expand. Although I think 77 days looks to be the maximum. But they are well happy with us. We've got over 1.4 million in the bank. Our company value is over 2 million. I think things are going very, very well. So I'm going to judge uh, whether I make another one on your reaction. Let me know in the comments below. Leave me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this one. Of course, any hints and tips are always gratefully received. And have a great day. I will see you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.